The demand for truck drivers has been on the rise during this pandemic. That need was heightened even more after the winter freeze blacked out our state. 3 News reporter Mariah Gallegos joins us live with how local truck truck training service is keeping up with the demand, driving interested students into the work field. Mariah. John Thomas, I spoke with instructors at the program at Del Mar who say truck drivers are always needed. However, this last year has put an emphasis on the trucking field and its value. Look at the mirror. Hard right. Look at your right mirror. These students are turning the wheels on the current truck driver shortage. I feel a lot of people I'll kind of overlook truck driving, but this is a good field to get into. Patrick Garcia is halfway through obtaining his commercial driver's license. This new skill will allow him a bump in a title at work and in pay. I can also like it widens my span of job choices that I can get and you know, it's there's they need a lot of truck drivers out right now. Tristan Osborne agrees, saying the training program at Del Mar College gives him the opportunity for advancement in his current job. We haven't really gotten to the point to where we can't take any more. We've always made adjustments for it. Lead instructor Jaime Flores says they've seen a higher volume of students showing interest since the pandemic started. Some of the basic things that people don't realize, whatever you buy, eat, wear, we deliver it. The transportation training services at Del Mar College is currently enrolling for new students, but their next available class isn't until the end of June. But once you're in, you'll need to complete 40 hours inside the classroom. That includes using things like this truck simulator that allows you to practice driving with real life traffic. Once you complete this, you'll be moved outside where you have to complete 160 hours for skills training. It's a job we certainly need filled, not only in the coastal bend, but across the country. We'll have more information on the costs and how to enroll at the Del Mar program on our website, KIITV.com. And John Thomas, you know, instructors said the hardest thing to get down is staying calm, remembering <laughs> to breathe, and it's actually a bit harder than it sounds. I got some practice in. I want you to see this right here. I think we've got some video. There I am. Okay, there so we, what was it like? You you did the simulation and then you were out in the truck. Two different things or very similar? Two different things, I think, because in the truck, you can see there, it's so much going on. I think all the sounds make it a bit more tense because you're hearing, you know, the truck, you're, I think there's just so much more going on in your mind, especially with the clutch. I've never drove <laughs> stick before, <laughs> and so that was a bit of a struggle. Oh yeah, it's a lot different when you have uh, six or seven gears and then you switch to that. The good thing here though with the students is the instructor is actually talking to them like through a walkie talkie. So while I'm driving, he's telling me, you know, turn left, turn right, slow down, you know, let your let your foot off the pedal. It's not going to go any faster. So they're very thorough in helping you and guiding you whenever you're in the truck. But so. you, you felt that pressure? I felt pressure, but I did a good job. I, they said I did a good job. Well, I hope the they weren't being nice. The most <laughs> important question, nice. did you run over any cones? Did I you didn't run over anything. I parked perfectly. I didn't kill it, which is the term <laughs> they were using. So okay. truckers probably know what I mean when I say that. <laughs> there you go. Well, maybe you have a different a career path headed your way right. <laughs> if, if news doesn't work out, but I know it will. Mariah, thank you so very much. We'll be checking back in with you a little bit later.